Y'all know him from the Kanye documentary on Netflix. First of all, excellent job that oh, you man. guys were able to capture. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Yeah. yeah appreciate and the love. My narration. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Let, just talk to me just about just the, the hours and and how how you able to select the right footage to go in the document to make sure that it flowed right to keep people you know on edge and making sure that they, they follow the sequence order of watching Kanye from the time that he was young to where he is right now. Well, I say with uh, it, it all started with like you know everything we did from this point was a rehearsal to this to the moment of doing the Kanye documentary, which is genius. Uh, you know, even meeting Nina Bon Jovi who who. Uh, you know, put out Ryan Coogler, discover Ryan Coogler, hunting for his Whitaker, and they told us to read this book called Story. So when we read this book, Story by Robert McKee, that, that let us know how to really like, you know, the beats that you have to hit and uh, the storytelling. So that's one thing. And then we had a team like uh, uh, Jay Ivey who wrote my narration. You had Max uh, Max Allman and, and Jason Harper, the, the editors. So you know, it was a and Chike, of course. So it was a combination of uh, amazing um, geniuses, I, I would say. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So. Well said. I mean, when you look at what the impact that that documentary had and you writing the narration for it, what are some of the scenes that you had to watch and make sure that you captured that moment exactly the way it should have been captured so you could disseminate that to the audiences? Man, I mean, every single one, really, uh, from the beginning to the end, we wanted to make sure that Cootie's voice was authentic to the story, authentic to the history, authentic to Chicago and hip hop, and and um, this this journey that him and Kanye had gone on from from the beginning. And I had the opportunity, the unique opportunity, to be there from the beginning and 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 be the uh, the, the poetic fly on the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know, it, it was um, it was it, it helped us with having me there, just around, and. Um, so when we got to this point of telling the story, it was it was so many moments where you know whether it was Mama West, um, who we who we all love, whether it was uh, talking about Cootie and his relationship with his father, with his daughter. I, it was just so many scenes, all on were, were key because it was 500 hours of footage. So the four and a half that were actually selected, the four and a half hours that were selected, each moment had to matter. Yeah, I mean, and you touched on your life as well, not just, it's mainly about Kanye, but at the time, it also touched on your life, which you had to go through mentally and physically as far as, you know, the things that when you when you got, fell out of touch with Kanye for those moments because he started his career, started to take off really well. Um, how were you able to, to kind of mend that fence as far as making sure that you showed a bit about who you are, but also keep the storyline the way it was supposed to be with Kanye? Well, you know, it was uh, it was a decision made by the editors and Chike and and J. I. B. You know, because I I wanted to kind of like fall back. You know what I mean? Uh, but it made only made sense for for it to be a story like through my perspective, and I'd be like the person that's telling the story because I'm the one that uh, you know, first thought about doing it. Like, man, I seen Kanye as this young, you know, talented, charismatic kid. I'm like, oh, and I'm like, I got to put a camera on him. So that was like the beginning, but then. When I got with all these amazing um, geniuses, I'm gonna say that again, geniuses, <laughs> you know, and, again. <laughs> and we, we crafted the story that we, that needed to be told. That's what that was it. And when I when I met with Kanye and told him that uh, what we were doing, I let him know that yo, this ain't even a documentary about you. This is a documentary for the dreamers. You know what I mean? And um, and and one thing we always say is uh, you can't let your imagination get in the way of God's manifestation. So when I sat out to do this doc, was supposed to be to see if he win Grammys, but it went on beyond that, which brought me in and, and my, me and Cheek as filmmakers, you know, doing Benji and doing Kid from Coney Island and all the things that we done. And then Jay Ivey, you know, as, as this writer who wrote for, uh, Muhammad Ali, the People's Champ, that we won the NAACP Image Award for, and also, you know, created a whole thing for the Grammys to, for, for poets, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and also his albums that one just got nominated for a Grammy, which you can yeah. tell him a little bit about yeah. that, Jay, yeah. which is amazing. Yeah, so uh, so my album, The Poet Who Sat By The Door, is nominated right now for a Grammy in the Best Spoken Word Poetry Album category. It's a category that I authored and and um, wrote a new definition for, and the Board of Trustees, we voted on it in the past. So this year was the first year ever that five poets were nominated uh, for a Grammy. So we, we made some history, and, and we'll see what happened with the Grammys as well. Yeah, man, that's big. Congratulations on that as well. Lastly. You know, you made a, a documentary about Kanye. Kanye's been in the news nonstop, said a lot of different things. Um, 
what is your take on just I mean you guys have known Kanye you guys grow obviously you know things change time goes on but is this the Kanye that we normally see or is this the Kanye you believe that's just for TV to try to just keep the eyeballs and the spotlight on him man it's, it's one of them things like sometimes I just want to you know what I mean uh, um, you know I've been talked to him in a few weeks but uh but, you know, I, I, my thing is I just got to pray for my brother. You know what I mean? I love him like a brother. So I'm going to just, you know, put that prayer out for him and what he's going through in his life. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and I, I feel like my thing is always trust God. And, I, and I've seen num time and time again that Kanye has been, you know, that God put his shield around him. You know what I mean? So no matter what he do, it's God kind of bring him out of that. And I feel like God going to do the same for whatever he, whatever it is. You know what I mean? So, you know, we like I say, I just pray for my brother, you know. And, I, you know, and one thing about it, too, is you only have 100% control of your own mind. You know what I mean? That's it. Nobody else, not your kids, not your girlfriend, wife, whatever, only yours. So, you know. That's that's I just say that. <laughs> yeah, man, it's a lot because that that brother is really saying some stuff, and I'm just like, man, like, what are you doing? But you know, at the same time, you, you, we don't realize the pressures that come on and and what you have to do. But at the same time, you know, uh, very well said. I want to ask you, lastly, what are you two working on next? Is it, how do you not so much follow up, but how do you continue that momentum that you guys have continued to build? Oh, man, I say one that we're working on uh, presently right now is on uh, Ernie Barnes documentary. Yeah, which we really excited. It was Ernie Barnes, was a mentor of ours before he made his transition in 2009, and um, and uh, which I documented him since 2004, painting a uh, uh, painting for Kanye called "A Life Restored," and uh, I documented his estate since 2009. Me and Chike up until now, and Jay Ivy been like Jay Ivy was his official. Uh, word, wordsmith, uh, spoken word, uh, whatever you want to say, uh, for Ernie Barnes. He like read his speeches, and you know, then he wrote and all of the um, all of the calendars. You know, a, a poem for each uh, page of the calendar. So, and Jay is also going to be like um, the narrator with me and Chike going out on this dock, and you know, we're just going to go visit all the collectors and. So it's, it's, it's an exciting piece of work that we're about to put together for Mr. Barnes, for sure. Yeah, yeah, Ernie Barnes, Ernie Barnes, that's where we at. And um, and also just working on visuals for, for my album. We got some uh, great things coming up for the for the poet who set by the dough. So please, you know, stay in tune, download, stream, all that good stuff. And um, working with Cootie and Chike on the visuals, so it's going to be exciting. Come out of retirement. We come out of retirement for music, music video retirement and doing J.I.B., yeah, yeah, yeah. John Legend, yeah. Slick Rick, and yeah. Burst video running. Yeah. So, yeah, we're excited about that. And for those of you who may not be familiar with Ernie Barnes, if you ever watch Good Times or the Camp Low cover CD, that's Ernie Barnes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. It's an honor and a pleasure to speak with you, Cootie. J.I.V., Y'all know the geniuses of the bunch. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. For sure. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. We appreciate you.